After being stuck at anchor for over two weeks, we were finally making our way into Alt's Cove. The ship was completely empty. We'd be loading every single bay. What's challenging about loading in Alt's Cove is when we have to load in another cargo bay, we have to shift the entire ship without any tug assistance, just using our mooring lines up and down the dock. Every shift is an all hands operation. And with shifts happening every five hours or so, finding sleep was gonna be difficult. First night in Alt Cove, loading. It's not super cold. A little bit of snow flurries. Calm before the storm right now. As far as I know, after we load three, we're gonna shift, and that should be at the tail end of my watch. So around like 2300-ish. But yeah, feels good to be somewhere new. Next chapter, baby. I just got off watch, but we should be finishing up Bay 3. So there's no point in me showering and laying down and going to sleep because I'm about to get called out. So I'm just gonna lay down on my couch in my work clothes and try to grab a quick nap. Laid down, closed my eyes for a half hour, got all hands call for 13, no, for 01 to 0130. All right, shift two. Just finished shifting. It took super long. I haven't slept yet. Um, I have watch in four hours. So I'm gonna try to sleep as fast. Sleep fast, I think they call it. Whatever. Five. We're supposed to finish up five in the next couple hours, but with del delays, I don't know. Uh, 
running on like three hours of sleep right now. Been up for, I don't know. Only have three hours of sleep is the moral of the story. While loading the cargo, we have to be attentive to the way it's loaded. We don't want to just put it in the middle and have the cargo shift while we're underway. So we try to keep it as flat and level as possible. What's up, Ish? What do you think of Alt's Cove so far, boss? I don't like it. I, I, I will wish that to my worst of enemies. It sucks. The way the shifting works is once we get the all hands call, everybody comes out, and the first thing we do, we move the weighted tarps from this hatch to the hatch we're gonna shift to. Then we come back and clean off the rest of the combing, whatever the tarp didn't catch. We have to be pretty thorough. A couple pebbles could damage the hatch cover when it closes. This is definitely the most tedious part of the shift. There's no easy way to clean frozen rock off metal. But once it's all clean, we close the hatch, and we go fore and aft and prepare to shift the ship. Shifting is a pretty common thing in the industry. It's when a vessel uses its mooring lines to shift up and down the dock. In this situation, we're moving the boom from an aft hatch to a forward hatch. Because we're gonna be moving the ship astern, the bow is gonna be heaving on their lines and the stern is gonna be slacking their lines. The whole process is quite the ballet a give and take, very well coordinated, everyone working together, try to get the job done. And having a storm come in during the middle of the shift just adds to the fun. So yeah, end of day two, um, after our shift to one, uh, I was able to actually get some sleep. I got like five hours of sleep, which is really nice. And I came back out for watch and we haven't done anything. Um, we've been on a delay. Apparently their belt broke for their loader. So can't do anything. So standby to standby, which is nice though, because everybody is getting some sleep and a chance to catch up with their sleep and relax a little bit. So yeah, thank God for a delay. Let's go, boys, go. They'll time your every breath and every day in this place. Two days nearer death, but you'll go. Well, the process man of my and I'm telling you no lie. I work and breathe among the fumes that trail across the sky. There's thunder all around me and there's poison in the air. There's a lousy smell that smacks of hell and dust all in my hair. And it's go, boys, go. They'll time your every breath. And every day you're in this place, two days nearer death. But to go. Well, there's overtime and bonus suffer dignity's glow. The young men like their money and they all come back for more But soon you're knocking on a new goal than you should For every bob made on the job you pay with flesh and blood And it's go boys go, they'll time your every breath And every day you're in this place, two days nearer death but to go when I've worked among the spinners and I breathe the oily smoke, I've shoveled up the chips and though it nigh all makes it show. We've been here for like two days and it's been non-stop being on watch, shifting, being on watch, shifting. Um, I haven't been sleeping much. I had got five hours of sleep uh, the other day. Yeah, that... what time you got? Um... 
but everything blends together. Uh, I don't know what when I eat. I don't think I'm like drinking enough water. Uh, like I miss meals. I sl I don't know. Everything's all messed up. Whatever. Moral of the story is, I, I don't know. That I'm all disheveled. I don't know even. Hey, uh, well, the world's a span of my and I'm telling you no lie. I work and breathe among the fumes that trail across the sky. There's thunder all around me and there's poison in the air. There's a lousy smell that smacks so hell and dust all in the air. Till it go, boys, go. It'll time your every breath and every day you're in the Last day in Alt Cove, hopefully. Uh, I don't even know what shift we're on. We only have three more to go, though. We have one big one now. So we have to do two small ones. We just top off a couple of the hatches. Uh, it's going to be a long day. I don't think in between the shifts, it's only like maybe an hour or two. The one right now is only a four hour break, so it's gonna be uh it's gonna be pretty shitty. Right now we're scheduled to leave at like twenty three hundred tonight. So it'll be all, all day affair. And then before anybody gets sleep, just jump in, push off, let go. I think we go straight to Halifax, which is only like I think a twelve hour transit do stores so the good news is we're almost done here the bad news is I don't know when the hell we're gonna get to sleep I'm running on three hours right now and no sign of sleep in sight thinking about it to describe what this port or load feels like my jacket represents it the best this jacket was in pretty good condition when I first put it on now sleeves messed up I just called the loader we're going 300 more sleeves messed up All f***ed up, all gashed up. This jacket is a representation of what it's like to load all the clothes. And after a very long three, four days, whatever it was, we took the pilot, set course for Halifax. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to support the channel, please consider liking, subscribing, or sharing the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. I work and breathe among the fumes that trail across the sky. There's thunder all around me and there's poison in the air. There's a lousy smell that smacks of hell and dust all in me hair. And it's go, boys, go. They'll time your every breath. And every day you're in this place, you're two days nearer death. But you'll go.